Moderna plans to quadruple the price of its COVID vaccine once it hits the commercial market, drawing the anger of lawmakers on Capitol Hill. When America's Zach Peterson reports. Moderna is jacking up the price of its COVID-19 vaccine and seems to have no qualms about gouging the very taxpayers who primarily funded its development. The company's chief executive, Stefan Bonsell, defended his plan to quadruple the price before the Senate Health Committee Wednesday. The plan will increase the vaccine to as much as $130 per dose when it hits the private market. It's a move that senators railed against given that taxpayers partly funded research and gave more than $1.7 billion to its development. Senator Bernie Sanders interrupted to remind Bonsell that the federal government made him a billionaire overnight and asked him to reconsider quadrupling the price of the vaccine when government stockpiles run out. But Boncel said simple economics of scale prompt a price hike. This is not the same product. We used to have 10 doses in each vial. Now we're going to have every vial will have a different dose. This is not the same I product. I understand it, but quadrupling the price is huge. And I will hope, I would hope very much that you will reconsider that decision. It's going to cost the taxpayers of this country billions of dollars. Is that something you can do? The volume we had during the pandemic gave us economies of scale we won't have anymore. That is what is different. Okay. Uh, Bonsell also said they're expecting a 90% reduction in demand. Last month, Moderna forecasted $5 million in COVID vaccine sales for the year, significantly less than the $18.3 billion in 2022. While most of the committee tried to highlight Moderna's greed in raising vaccine prices once it hits the commercial market, Senator Rand Paul prodded at the company's dishonest dealings. Paul noted that Moderna paid the NIH $400 million just last month. Paul questioned whether there was a conflict of interest at play, as the same people deciding how often to take the vaccine are the very ones profiting from it. The $400 million payment was a royalty Moderna now pays on sales of its COVID-19 vaccine to the National Institutes of Health. But Bonsell had no opinion on whether there was a conflict of interest. He even went on to deny what the data shows about the correlation between myocarditis and vaccinations. You're, you're saying that for ages 16 to 24 among males who take the COVID vaccine, their risk of myocarditis is less than people who get the disease. That is my understanding. That sir. is not true. And I'd like to enter into the record six peer-reviewed papers papers from the Journal of Vaccine, the Annals of Medicine that say the complete opposite of what you say. I also spoke with your president just last week and he readily acknowledged in private that yes, there is an increased risk of myocarditis. The fact that you can't say it in public is quite disturbing. Zach Peterson, One American News.